Rhodes asks Atlanta what they want to talk about, then says they really don't have to talk because there's one shadow looming over every arena WWE goes to. Brock Lesnar. He says one thing for sure is that when Lesnar shows up when he's called to the ring and tells Lesnar he should do just that right now, Lesnar doesn't appear and Rhodes says Lesnar is supposed to be here tonight. He asks if Lesnar's plan is to be fashionably late, but he'll be in the ring waiting for him no matter what time he shows up. He gives a shout out to his mother in the front row and says she was the one who made him into the fighter he is today. He says his relationship with Lesnar can be summed up in two words, hard times. Rhodes says it won't be hard times for him when Lesnar shows up. As Rhodes goes over to greet his family, Lesnar's music hits. Rhodes readies himself to fight him, but Lesnar doesn't appear. His music hits once more, but before he even has the chance to appear, Rhodes heads to the back and looks to waste no time. Lesnar then appears with a chair in hand and attacks Rhodes with it. He sends Rhodes into the ring apron and ring post, then delivers an F5 to him on the floor right in front of his family. Lesnar cinches in the Kimura lock on Rhodes, but decides to relinquish it and tosses him inside the ring. He follows him inside and cinches in the Kimura lock once more before he lets go. He then tells Rhodes he'll see him at SummerSlam and heads to the back.